Hey everyone, welcome again on the Stack channel. And in the last video, we started working on the service layer of our Mintra Clone app. And uh, yeah, I'm making video very late. I know because I'm trying to find out the time. Uh, I have lots of work in going on in my side, and I'm struggling to find out the time. That's why I'm uh, my work life balance is also kind of not good as of now. So yeah. Once the load will be gone, then I will start making video as much as possible. But yeah, uh, please support me in order to, I mean, complete this series. I need some time. Okay. So in this video, I'm going to discuss about the login functionality, which we have to complete in a front end side. Okay. So actually, uh, I found out that we forgot one thing while making the API. Okay, so actually, uh, once we log in, so if we open the bottom seat, then you will find that we have to send the uh, just phone number to the back end. Okay, but in actual app, what is happening that after login a user, we have to show the name as well, right? And we are not sending the name as part of our, our API as of now. Okay, so I checked it out the uh, Mintra app and found out that uh after i mean at the time of registering a new user when we click on a continue we went on a new page okay and in this page they are asking the details like full name email gender and those kind of thing so we had to do the same thing like suppose if a new user is came and when they send the phone number then we have to validate that it's a new user or not. So as we created a backend, so in the backend, we can just do, I mean, we had, we don't need to change this part. So if user is found, okay, so we simply have to do the login part and we have to just change the, this part of layout. We have to show the name, okay, and all. But if the user is first time, registering with the backend then instead of doing this thing we had to send a kind of message to the front end that it's a new user so once the message will we will get then what we have to do is we have to navigate a user to a form screen like after clicking on a continue if user is not found in a backend then we have to navigate into the new screen and we have to work on this new screen okay so once i will click on a continue and if the user is new then i have to go on this screen then after creating a account so at the time of creating account i have to send the essential data which will help us to show it after the login a user okay so you got my point so this part of code in a back inside is still valid but instead of registering a user i mean instead of saving a user detail in a else condition we need to send something else to the front end so front end will get to know that we have to navigate into the new screen and once this create account button will be clicked on a new screen we have to send the again a data okay and those data will going to be saved in our mongoos okay so this, this is a theory and we have to do the actual implementation so i will come on to this part later but as of now what we can do that i'm just doing a else and sending a response dot json it will be message okay message equal to register okay i'm just sending a single single world register okay and uh, we will come on this part later and let's do the implementation in the next video and that video purely on the getx part how we will going to create a getx controller how to integrate the endpoint with help of the getx controller that's why i wanted to cover it in a next video so yeah let's meet on our next video but please don't forget to subscribe the channel like the video and share the video to your friends